Good morning. I'm, uh, I promised I would show you my latest concertina book, so that's what I am going to do now. I'm going to do a little walkthrough. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the, the closure that I put on it. So the one I did last year, I used a, I just used a little hair elastic to hold it closed and that worked really well. So I wanted to do something similar, but this one is quite a bit bigger. I didn't have anything that would stretch all the way around. So I was trying to come up with some solutions. Uh, at first I thought I would put a button on it and do it like a, a wrap thing, like a folder. Uh, but I didn't want the button to inadvertently damage um, something that it was sitting in a bookshelf beside. So I wanted the closure on the side. And what I came up with while rooting through my piles of stuff was a little jewelry clasp. It, I don't think this was the best idea and I won't do this again, um, mainly because it doesn't wrap all the way around. And the first thing my husband did when he looked at this was did this. <laughs> and it's like, okay, yeah, that, okay, that doesn't work, but it does hold the, the main part of it closed. So it's just a, a jewelry clasp with a jump ring and then a couple of beads tucked on the end. That's pretty, but it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So next time on, I'll try something completely different. Um, sorry, I'm just going to move my, got my microphone wire here. Looks like it's kind of in the way. Okay, so um, a couple months ago, I did a fold up on a live with a big sheet of watercolor paper. And this was the result. Um, I had another one that I actually haven't even started yet because uh, this took me a lot longer to go through than, than I had planned. I figured I'd have it done in a month. It took me like four months because I was just not motivated to do much of anything. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling better and I'm getting back down into, the, into my studio and it was not like I was not sick or anything. I was just kind of exhausted and burnt out. So. A little break was, I think, what I needed, and I got it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm, I've been painting again, and I feel a lot better. Um, so initially, on the cover, I had intended to do a stamping thing right directly on this craft paper, like I did on this one, and I made a mess of it within ten seconds. So I covered it up with collage paper, which unfortunately didn't get quite straight. And uh, as I have a little bit of OCD, that not being straight really kind of drives me crazy. But I can't do anything about it short of taking the covers off and making them again. So I'm not doing that. Move on to the next one. The next one will be better. So I'm going to show you the inside. Um, and the thing about concertina books is that they open and they open. And because of the way it's folded, it opens like this, right? So I can only do a couple at a time, but I'm just going to walk through and show you page by page. Um, this one was first page in the book was the last page that I finished took me forever. Um, I just, I really liked the way the paint worked and this, like with the teal and the red and, and the warm yellows, and I didn't want to cover it up. And because I liked it and I, did, I wanted to save it, it made the whole process way more difficult. It's so much easier when I don't like it to start with. And then, um, cause I don't like it. I, I feel uh, a freedom to kind of just do anything. So when I liked it and I wanted to save it and I wanted to save this kind of brush mark and this little swirl here and this pencil mark. So I decided to just keep my collage on the sides, on the edges and, and not even touch that. So I didn't actually do any painting, extra painting. This is what I had my original for my original um, large sheet of paper. So uh, I have collage here and here and collage here and then my drawing and then I did a little bit of painting inside the flower on the collage paper and that made that page complete. Now the next page, um, this one was a lot easier for me to get to because I didn't like it nearly as much. I got, I seem to have some glare here. Let me turn this light off and see if, nope, that doesn't help. I think it's because I've got the light shining directly on it. Um, but I didn't, like, I, I, I liked the color combinations and stuff that was going on, but there wasn't anything really special about this page. So it made it a lot easier for me to just go ahead and stick stuff on and play with it and see what happened. 
Uh, so I'm pretty happy with the way that page turned out. I like the way the flower kind of fades in here and it goes over the text and it's drawing and painting and everything together. Um, so I have someone yelling at me from upstairs, so I'm uh, just going to ignore them. <laughs> uh, this page I posted when I was when I was working on this. I'm busy! Um, so I have uh, the collage here and, and some of my stamps. Uh, this was an ink experiment that I used uh, ink on a tracing paper and then used it as a transfer. And I liked that, so I'd use that in some paintings going forward. Um, and this, uh, there was like a big empty space here, so I painted those leaves in and I really like the way this more realistic painting kind of works with the other more abstracted stuff. So I, I use this kind of as something that I could carry forward. Um, so this page was done twice. I did it and I hated it, so I moved on and I left it. And then, does that open out? Yeah, that one opens out this way. Um, and then I went back to it right at the end and uh, I painted over a section here that I had. I had some collage, like a little plant going through here, drawing, and I didn't like it. So uh, more collage on top and then painting. And then I put at the end, put this big flower here, which really seemed to help. And then this uh, is collage paper that I've cut out around my drawing and then glued on. Uh, and because I'm, like, I have this drawn in my sketchbook, which I've then traced my sketchbook drawing onto the tracing paper and then painted on top of it. But because I haven't done it that way, it's easy for me to get the exact shape when I'm cutting something else out. I just take, I draw on it, and then and then I cut it out so that it's the exact same shape. Um, and that's something that has worked for me. Uh, I've done that in a few places. Uh, here on this one as well. I did that right here. I've cut out my collage paper around the edge of my flowers. Well, it seemed to work pretty well. Um, this is another one, that another page that I did not like and I've painted over it and I've slapped collage over things that I don't like and I've just gone back and done it again and I think this page is much more successful now than it was um, than it was the first time around. You can still see a little bit of my drawing and stuff under through my paint, but that's fine. Um, it's a sketchbook. It's just for me to work kind of with different ideas and see what I like and what I don't like and try new things. I had uh, I have a pile of letters, like handwritten letters that I've been sending back and forth with a friend. And so uh, I use some of those in here, just torn up as, as collage, light, light colored collage paper. And um, I like the way the handwriting works here. I've used this here. I've used my own handwriting in white paint on black uh, and that, I like that. I like the way that works. This one here, this page here was one of the first ones I did. Um, and I was trying to, I was thinking of older work that I'd done. I have a large piece hanging in my dining room that I did like, I don't know, 15 years ago. And uh, they were figure drawings that were kind of, some areas were modeled more realistically and they were, uh, they faded into this line drawings that were worked into an abstract background. And there were a lot of things about that series that I liked, so I thought maybe I would try out something similar. So I've painted in this section of the bird and then left this as uh, drawn. And I do, I like the way that kind of, the, the way the bird kind of sits in that space. Um, something a bit, you know, it's a, it's a, a merging of something that's realistic. And then I just did some um, stream of consciousness writing on black tracing, like black painted tracing paper that I've used as collage there. That is something related to the same thing same kind of theme about birds and gardens and such. So, um, yeah. And then this one was a continuation of that same kind of idea. Um, not entirely, I'm not quite as happy with this page as I am with this one. I think this one is more successful. I did this one first. Um, but yeah, I have like 
collaged here. I've used my stamps. I've got the writing again. This uh, I think I'm going to take forward into some paintings, but I haven't gotten that far with the paintings yet, so it's, a, it's an idea I'm going to kind of carry on. And then this was my very first one that I did. I, uh, I have a, this is from a calendar. This is a printout of a poem that I found that I liked. Again, and, and this one is a little bit busier, a little kind of maybe even a bit too busy for me, but um, this was the thing that kind of, uh, I liked the way that worked and that's how that, uh, that I worked. I took that and then carried it on into these other pages with the birds. So that is my, that's it. So, I mean, there's not, there's not a lot, right? There's not, oh, hi, Jackie. How are you? Haven't seen you in ages. I haven't talked to you. Like just kind of disappeared there. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's not a lot of pages in these books, so working through them is, uh, it's just a way for me to kind of get out some ideas, see if they're going to work. I, I spent a bit more time on this book than I have on, than I did on this, this other one, this small one. Like in this one, I had, uh, I had quite a few pages that I was not a hundred percent happy with. I oh, they've stuck together there. Um, and, but it got me started, right? So this little one got me started. And then this one, I'm this bigger one, I'm carrying the same ideas forward. And then, um, I've started doing some paintings, utilizing some of the things that I've worked out in the book. Um, I've got a series of 10 going. I've got about six finished. So my next, uh, my next thing, I'm going to get those done and then I will probably do another one of these just to s try and push the ideas a little bit more and figure out what I like and what I don't like. Um, someone that I follow online has, um, she works on, she doesn't paint her paper first. So she's, she's got her her book and she works on it spread out, which I don't do. I tend to work on them in pages of two, like a, in, in a, like a page spread. So I think I might try that and try working on it spread out so that this whole thing is like one big painting, just kind of move across and the whole book will be kind of united that way. When it all opens out, it'll be like one big long piece. I'll try it anyway. And if it works fine, if it doesn't work also fine, that's the whole point of this is for experimentation. Um, at some point I'll, I will actually work through this on camera, but at this point I'm just not at a stage where I can talk and paint at the same time. I can't do it. I've tried. I just kind of, I can't even string together a proper sentence. So I, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> Maybe maybe a bit later on down the line. Um, anyway, I, I hope everyone's having a great week and um, great week coming up. Long weekend coming up. So that's really nice. I'm looking forward to having a, uh, a few more days off. Um, and uh, I'll try to do these a little more regularly. If there's anything that you want me to, to show you or you want me to cover just leave a comment or send me a message and I'll be happy to explain some things oh one thing uh, someone asked me in the comments what I use to to attach my collage so that these papers are are flat and this is what I use it's a catalyst uh, silicone wedge it's like a color shaper I haven't cleaned this off very well I'm going to do that before I use it again um, but so I paint on my, my medium that I'm using as my, uh, adhesive. And then I put down my, my collage. And then I just kind of go over that like that and work out all the bubbles. And it seems to work really well. I don't have any kind of weird bubbly bits. Everything is nice and flat. And then I will just trim off with an exacto knife. I'll trim off the edges. So that's that. That's everything. I will try and do this thing back up, which again, did not work very well. And I won't do this again, but, uh, 
and it's a little a little fiddly too for something like a book closure well lesson learned <laughs> anyway i hope you all have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye